My first memory of the Olympics, I was actually watching Olympic trials in 1997 for the curling. I think I thought then that this looks like something I could do, and then in 2002 we actually went to the Salt Lake Games with myself and my parents as a uh, scouting mission in case I ever made an Olympic team. And uh, lo and behold, I've been on three since. You know, we're mic'd up every game, and people, I think, get to the point where they, they think they really get to know you as a person because they see your personality kind of come out in the way you communicate with your teammates. That intimacy that fans get through athletes being constantly mic'd up is something that really has had a huge impact on the response that fans and people that have no idea what curling is and they're getting their connection to curling. Testing you out this morning, John. You know, I'm getting stretched. This is your yoga session. This is by far like the most prepared team I've ever been on. That preparedness that our team has and the successes we've had have really put us in a position to go to the Olympics and have, have a great performance. We as Americans get a, you know, that sense of togetherness and, and it doesn't matter which athlete or what sport they're competing in when there's a team and the, there's a little US flag next to their name on the bottom of the screen. Everybody in the country essentially gets excited to cheer them on. Brilliant. John, thank you, mate.